This will be a quick update, or if you will, update number one to the announcement of the new expansion to Star Wars The Old Republic, Knights of the Fallen Empire. Power just released a brand new sub web page covering new features and I explained them and showed them all to you in my previous video. Here in this one we will take a brief look at the short article announcing it on the very main page sotor.com. On the 15th of June, Power is announcing Knights of the Fallen Empire. Key feature points. Let's read the article. Knights of the Fallen Empire marks a renewed focus on Bioware's style cinematic storytelling in Star Wars The Old Republic. Your character will become the Outlander, a veteran of the Great War, who comes face to face with a new threat to the galaxy, the Emperor of the Eternal Throne. This expansion also raises the level cap to 65, not 70, not 75 like, like we all dreamed about, just 5 levels, and includes the option to create a level 60 character. Brand new creation of a level 60 character, you will probably be bounding this to your legacy, which means they will not allow any new player to start from level 60. This allows you to start fresh in Knights of the Fallen Empire and jump right into the new story content. This is actually controversial a little bit. We're also delivering the story content in a way never before done in Star Wars The Old Republic. Chapters. The first nine chapters will be available at launch on October 27th, with new chapters available and delivered regularly following that. I've heard that it is supposed to be one chapter every month, but we'll see about that. With the launch of Knights of the Fallen Empire, all of the original 8 class stories will be enhanced, allowing for a faster and more engaging playthrough for new and veteran players. I'm thinking 12x will remain permanently. Additionally, many of our existing flashpoints and operations are being scaled to 60+, plus, giving you many more elder game options at level 65. This is good, although... This also brings to my mind the very high possibility of no new operation when the expansion launches and everything scaled up and changed a little bit here and there will be called new content. Still better than nothing. All subscribers will receive the digital, uh, the digital expansion for free. So as long as you subscribe, doesn't matter when you subscribe, you will always receive it. If you subscribe now, earlier, you will be eligible for different rewards. If you want to see what the rewards are, visit the sub page yourself or watch my other previous video. We're also excited to announce the Knights of the Fallen Empire Rewards program. This is what I just told you about. Between today and October 19th, when early access will begin, subscribers can earn collectible rewards for each month that they maintain their subscriber status. This reward program is in addition to the fact that all subscribers receive Knights of the Fallen Empire for free. To learn more about uh, the rewards program and the digital expansion, please visit the link that I was explaining in my previous video. We know that when you subscribe, you will receive the three expansions. So, you don't need to buy the HUD cartel, it's already available with your first subscription. With this new change, since this fall, when you subscribe, you will get access to absolutely everything in the game, as long as you stay subscribed. As soon as you are not subscribed anymore, you will not lose the expansions. You will still be eligible to level up to level 65, but you will not have access to all the other extra things that will keep appearing after that. So, I'm guessing for chapter 10, 11, 12, 15, 14, 15, 16, doesn't matter really. Uh, you will have to stay subscribed or keep subscribing to gain access to them. I was dreaming like everybody else for different stories, but no, we will all be the Outlander, a veteran from the Great Galactic War. By the way, a uh, lower video about the Great Galactic War is incoming very soon on my channel, so if you haven't subscribed yet, do that to be informed when the video will become available. This is my short update. I hope it was useful to you, just in case you missed it yourself. But anyway, it's on the main page. However, many of us don't regularly visit the main page of Sotor.com because we know it's ridiculously outdated and not much of the important information is shared there. See you with the next video, guys. Bye-bye. Remember, you can find me also on Twitch, Twitter and Facebook. 
for my non-Star Wars activities, I invite you to subscribe to my second YouTube channel.